All of engineers think alike. Everything is just numbers. Apparently, I'm not recording audio. Thanks, Obama. So, today is the second day of my space program. Today we're playing Kerbal Space Program and we're gonna take a look at multi-stage rockets. Let's take a look at the mission control. Last time we activated the uh, Mark 16 parachute test, which just needs us to activate uh, the Mark 16 parachute in rather high up in the atmosphere. And we have a second mission to test the swivel uh, liquid fuel engine. And this has a catch that we have to activate the part through staging sequence. Meaning this part has to be a part of the second stage of the rocket. Meaning we have to build a multi-stage rocket. This needs to be the altitude between... Separating the stages is uh, 12 to 18 kilometers, which is way lower than the limit of the space in this game, which is 70 kilometers. So we're gonna try to make a rocket that will be under 70 kilometers, but over the limit to pass this test. So we can do the escape the atmosphere. Uh, contract later, which pays handsomely, I might add. And because currently our uh, mission control is limited to two active contracts at once, we can only have the two contracts, so we have to make some extra flights in order to get more of the missions done. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. And of course we're gonna need the capsule. Let's go high up as we're optimistic about our huge rocket design and the requirements was that our second stage is a liquid fuel stage that means we need a liquid fuel tank we're also going to need a parachute which goes right there and we're gonna need an engine we're gonna need the swivel engine this is gonna be our Tiny Hilarious second stage. Let's see if I have any decouplers. Yes, we have. This is basically the higher part, second part of our rocket. And let's check the staging that is correct. We want to <coughs> activate the staging, the separator. And while the separator goes, we also want the engine to start at the same time, so the rocket parts don't collide into each other. We want the parachute to be in its own separate stage, so we can activate that when the thing is going down. We don't want to fire the parachute while we're firing the engines. Then we need to build the second stage to push this one into... Uh, what was the limit? Four kilometers above? Can't recall. But let's put enough. I think it would be easier if we just put a solid fuel booster here. That should do the job. And let's check who are, who is gonna ride the rocket. Uh, Jebediah has is our most experienced pilot at the moment. And he's still quite stupid. Let's take him off and let's put Valentina Kerman back there. She is completely inexperienced, so she will get a bunch of experience from this trip. We go back to building. Let's see if there's any other parts we need to put on this. Uh, we're just gonna go for the missions at this flight, so we don't need any science gear, as I have already gathered the science from that run on the previous episode, which you can find here. Uh, it's probably a good idea to put a heat shield. Let's put uh, a heat shield underneath the capsule, and let's put another separator there. Meaning that we're gonna cut the rocket from there and we can land it separately. And now we have to check our staging again. 
we need another stage. And we want this to be here before the... So basically we have the main booster. Actually the next separator is gonna go with the next engine. So we have the main booster, then we have the stack separator, liquid fuel engine, separator and the parachute. Let's drop the solid fuel amount a bit and let's cut the thrust. So let's activate the stability controls, give it some throttle. We check that the stability assist is on and let's run through the staging once more. Yeah, we golden and let's go. Let's check our mission log. So we need to stage at 12 kilometers. Now as I think about it, I'm not sure whether we're gonna make it to 12 kilometers. Barely. I have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> with the dead weight on. Oh, that is trick. Come on, come on, make it to 12. And we go. We staged it. We completed the first mission, but then we want to control our throttle so that the apoapsis doesn't go over 70 but because we had the tiny hilarious tank we already ran out of gas so we might as well give the stack separator a try Oops. actually we didn't complete this swivel engine flight test we passed the parachute test. <laughs> it's probably my speed that was off that I didn't get the swivel engine test. Yeah, I need some more fuel to it. But I think I'm gonna make the test again with the first stage being liquid fueled also. That allows me to hit this quite strict speed limit. So back to the drawing board. Shall take that off and learning from past mistakes. We need to add more fuel. And because the tyranny of rocket equation, if we add more fuel, we have to add even more fuel. So, even more fuel. Let's add some fins. Not sure if these do much. Garbo physics is no, no, there's no reason to doubt them. They are, they are accurate. So the usual, let's check the staging. Yep. Let's check the SAS. Yep. And we check the throttle. Yep. And with a mission log. That way. I haven't found it. I haven't found the crack in this playthrough yet. Then again, I haven't crossed the speed of light yet. Everything's looking much better. So far, I have to lower the speed a bit. There we go. Let's see if I can have enough fuel to escape the atmosphere. There we go. Let's keep it under the hundred. Can't recall if there were other other contracts we can fulfill to get more Kerbin money. 
basically we're coasting through the upper atmosphere to get to the apoapsis and now as we're high from the high in the upper atmosphere let's take a crew uh, crew report there we go keep experiment now as i think about it we should have added some mystery goo and uh, thermometers and whatnot Got to pack the lunch. Can I get to the apoapsis? We can scroll a little bit. Let's actually separate the stage. I'm sorry for the people receiving the tank below with full of gas. Let's point the capsule to the retrograde. <clears throat> that way we're pretty much pointing the heat shield in the right direction and we can get more efficient efficient deceleration. Our pilot isn't that trained yet, so we don't have the options here that we could point it automatically to the retrograde direction so we have to keep it on track manually nothing has exploded yet Yeah, that is true. You don't want to miss any science points at the early on. The science is needed. Nothing is as scary as using the time acceleration while hanging from a parachute. Usually the game just eats it up. And... We done. Let's recover the vessel and all the delightful science that we have accumulated. Meaning, what? One crew report. And apparently you can get science from recovery of a vessel from suborbital flight, which is interesting. I got 12.5 science and I have glorious 56 science. That is enough for, like, parts. Yes, I am an engineer. Actu medical electronics, so it's not really related, but... It's kind of like disease that... One, once an engineer, always an engineer. All of engineers think alike. Everything is just numbers. Let's see what new missions is available. We currently don't have any active contracts here. There are some observational studies suck if you don't have a space plane or regular plane. I haven't invested in those parts yet as I haven't seen the use. The space tourism missions are always fun. Unfortunately I'm out of time today so we shall see the space tourism missions in the next episode. Thanks for watching.